Well, recently farmers in southeast Georgia got a great opportunity to see how crops are doing in their area. Yeah, at UGA Southeast Research and Education Center in Midville, a field day was held so producers can get updates from researchers on many different projects. The Monitor's Mark Wildman has the story. Here in Midville, farmers and others involved in southeast Georgia agriculture are taking advantage of a great learning opportunity. In these fields, many different research projects are being conducted in an effort to strengthen the industry in this part of the state. Farmers depend on good information to make the best management decisions on their farms. And many times the information that may work well in one part of the state does not necessarily work well in others. That's why UGA has stations spread around every corner of the state. The field day here at the Southeast Research and Education Center uh, here in Midville it is a great event each year. Just as, as we look around the station on the tour today, the crops look just fantastic. So they do a great job here with the production. Uh, also, we have scientists from across the state of Georgia uh, looking at research trials here. And it's just a great opportunity for growers to come see this. Here in Midville, producers got updates on crops such as cotton, soybeans, and peanuts. The information shared not only gave updates on varieties, but also on the insect pressure in the area. Stink bugs are going to be the primary insect uh, that farmers are scouting for, primary insect uh, farmers are treating. Um, I think most of our growers uh, in the state of Georgia are very comfortable with controlling stink bugs. Uh, we did just remind them the importance of selecting the appropriate insecticide depending on which stink bug species you have, uh, knowing when you can terminate those controls. But one of the things that, that we're really trying to emphasize to growers is we know we're going to spray stink bugs and need to spray stink bugs, but when we're selecting insecticides for stink bugs, let's make sure we give consideration to other pests which may be in the field when those applications are made. As a county extension agent, the Southeast Research and Education Center is very important. Uh, we're actually standing right beside uh, a peanut insecticide trial uh, that I'm able to get out just because the station is here. Uh, we don't have the same insect pressure as, as they do, say, down in Tifton. Staff here at Midville work very hard to make sure the crops are well cared for, and superintendent of the facility, Anthony Black, feels this facility is vital to the overall health of southeast Georgia agriculture. We serve uh, Burke, Jenkins, Scriven, Emanuel, uh, Bullock, uh, you get down towards Vidalia, down Tattnall County down that direction, Montgomery County. We, we're kind of in this niche over here in East Georgia, Jefferson County, Washington County. A lot of agriculture in this little pocket over here. We do all the field work, um, any pest management, fertility work that the scientists will call, you know, that they're not going to do. Uh, we also, we actively farm whatever land I do not have in research, and we actively farm for budget. We pretty much have to pay our own way here. Our, all our expenses are generated through crop sales. With conditions changing fast, farmers need to stay on top of the latest trends. And as long as UGA operates facilities like this one in Midville, farmers in the area will always have a great resource for their farming operations. In Burke County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.